Hi there Scorpio, this is your reading with me for November 2021 for love. We're going to have a look, see what is coming through, what messages, information and clarity I can give to you. So we shall take a look. I also wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading with me, information is also down below. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me and also intention manifesting items are on my website which thousands of people have seen results with. So you can check out the review section at the bottom of my website and the items are on there for different intentions. And um, for all of the different intentions, there are lots of different items like bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which are handmade. So these are actually hand embroidered and you can put these under your pillow, your wallet or your purse for different intentions and they're meditated with and saged. There's also crystals, sage and also candles, which have been restocked because they literally all sold out. So um, I thought I would share these with you. So here they are. This is the soulmate wand and by the way these are safety tested they're handmade hand poured they are also 100 natural and they're also um, safety tested as well and they last a really really long time too so we've got um, the soulmate one the twin flame one there's so many other candles as well like love evil eye protection manifest your wishes healing letting go lots of non-loved ones as well <laughs> all right so you can check everything out down below let's begin scorpio Scorpio, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> wow, Knight of Wands, you know, attraction, chemistry, intimacy, it's all coming very fast, like the Knight of Wands is an energy that is fast paced, this is not slow, this is not a snail, okay, it's the Knight of Wands, <laughs> wow, three of, three of Pentacles, wow, Nine of Pentacles. Magician. King of Swords. Two of Wands, look at this. You've, someone here finds you very, very intriguing and the King of Swords definitely shows this energy of communication, which I think is amazing. Someone really wants to communicate with you and it seems to be happening very, very fast. Um, so I see some communication really coming in, very like hot and heavy. Um, and also the Three of Pentacles shows that they want to make things work with you. They want to meet up with you. So even if there's distance here, it seems like they want to make things work regardless of any kind of distance. And we definitely see strong Mercury energy with communication and the nine of pentacles shows that they find you very intriguing and they really like your self-confidence and your stability and just how you have so many values and empathy as well so i just feel here that they are coming really really quickly it's almost like they recognize your worth and your value because they feel really really connected towards you and they feel really just very very again attracted towards you in so many ways too and they just find that they don't want to be you know away from you in that sense which again is pretty awesome and yeah fascinating because judgment is also beautiful judgment is scorpio energy um judgment is pluto energy it's a very transformative energy you know so judgment i think is very beautiful um in many ways so i think that that again is just so significant you know so i think that the thing here is that there's just a really progressive aspect and element here to them wanting to change the entire situation with you they want to work things out with you they want to progress things with you they don't want things to be stuck in the same dynamic so even if this is someone new it's like they want to move things along they don't want to be stuck in the friend zone they don't want to be stuck in a situation ship they don't want to be stuck you know just doing the same old same old like they really want to progress things with you and that is very very obvious from the reading you know they look out into the world and they feel like nobody really compares to you in terms of your values your vision your goals how consistent you are they feel like these days people just aren't like you you know and, and i think that that is something that's quite significant there are so many people that are very afraid of commitment there are so many people that don't want to settle down or there's so many people that just don't really you know don't want to do the same things that you want to do there's a lot of people that are not very mature and 
you know, play around and, and all that kind of stuff. And they just know that you are not like that. And it's so rare to find somebody like that, that they, every time they look out into the world, they feel like you're super unique and different and not like everybody else. And I think that again is really incredible. Um, so again, very intrigued by your energy and very connected to your energy overall as well. Which is, which is great to see actually. Chariot. Okay, so we've got the chariot, which goes to show there's a harmonious energy, right? This yin and yang soulmate type of energy. There's a lot of progression here, especially with temperance as well. There's a sense here of you feeling just really like this flow and ease in the communication. You feel protected, you feel happy, you feel secure around this person. For some of you, this is a new person. For some of you, this is someone that you've known who's just being a lot more progressive towards you and so much more um, open towards you without you having to like figure them out every three seconds. You know what I mean? Then you've got Jupiter energy. So there's something about Thursdays as well in November. So just keep that in mind. There's something about Thursdays. Could be that perhaps communication is better on Thursdays or there's something about Thursdays. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Wheel of Fortune just goes to show that there is this element of stability in this connection, which I think is really great. Um, and you also feel like you're just much more appreciated and you feel like you are a gem. That's the thing is that you have so much self-confidence to the point where you feel like I am the diamond. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am valuable. Thank you so much. I am, you know, strong and I am progressive and I am, you know, commitment material. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your considerations. I am. Yes, I know. <laughs> that's what you'll think to yourself Scorpio Lella. yes this is me and some of you may have even felt like before like you need to change yourself in order to have you know love and happiness but it's not true not true at all in fact this is this is special this is rare and that is exactly what they love you for oh I dropped the L word I think they love you let's have a look at these oracle cards Wow, I mean, it's really, it's really happening, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I feel like I spoke so fast, I do apologize about that. Sometimes the messages come so quickly. Whew, it's one of those things. In real life, I don't speak this fast, which is probably really annoying for some of you, but I do apologize. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so remember positivity attracts positivity. Negativity can attract negativity. I think this is just a case of letting things unfold and, and not trying to force things and just knowing that they do value you for the person that they that they believe that you are. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Venus does go into Capricorn at the beginning of November, so I do feel like there's real potential for heart to heart conversations where you're, where you're on the same page, talking about very similar things and how you feel and how they make you feel and uh, all of those aspects. I do feel like that is something that we do see here. We have love yourself first, your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, this is about just, you know, again, you know, you may have felt before that like you needed to change yourself but that's not true so you know take on board the kind of person that you are have that self-respect and that courage and know that you are who you are and that you don't need to change for anyone that just makes you so much more attractive and I feel like because a lot of you have been working on yourselves from what I feel this is what they pick up on to really charge forward towards you to the point where they can't let go so if you're someone that's sort of sitting there in November and you're thinking this isn't happening for me well think about how much you're doing for yourself versus how much you're kind of just you know um, waiting for them because you want to make sure that you are staying proactive for yourself too. We have flirt, extend your light-hearted energy to others. So there's definitely a flirtatious energy. We see it with the Knight of Wands, you know, that <laughs> flirtatious energy is strong and give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So it is, it is, uh, yeah, there, there is this sense of you working on this connection and allowing it to progress very naturally and letting it come together. So that is what we do have right there. How exciting is it to see this though? Honestly, amazing, right? So this is your reading, Scorpio. It's happening fast, okay? It's happening very fast. <laughs> Whew, better take a, 
a break after this one. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> but yeah, if this resonates with you or if you want to claim the reading, of course, don't forget to like this video. And of course, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Um, and do check out the description box below if you would like to win a free reading with me or purchase a private paid reading. All the information is there. Also, intention manifesting items, which thousands of people have seen results with. You can check all of those out down below as well if you wanted to. Everything is there for your convenience. And I also have TikTok and Instagram. Um, um, if you wanted to follow me on there as I post short readings on there every day. All right, take care. Bye.